Okay, moving microphone into the place. I do have the filter going, the uh, pump going. So, uh, <clears throat> okay, we have it set to one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five stars. Okay, let us, uh, nope, what happened to that? Uh, what did I click in order to adjust? Oh, maybe the wave up here, wave three. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let me move this over a little bit. I can't move it over a little bit. Okay. Got to move this over a little bit. Okay. Uh, wave three adjustment. Okay, testing one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is the enhanced. I'm going to click on the enhanced low cut filter. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm turning it off. I'm going to turn on the clip guard. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I turned that off. And <clears throat> now I'm going to click on the wave gain lock. Let me say what this Oh, it says. Okay, some applications automatically adjust your microphone gain. Uh, enable wave gain lock to prevent this happening. You'll still be able to adjust the gain from, from the microphone. Okay, uh, I'm going to do it. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Now that's off. Let me see what clip guard is here from the pop up. Optimizes the analog audio path to prevent distortion in real time. That might be good. Let's see what the other one here says. Removes low frequencies when enabled. Recommended when talking into the microphone from a distance greater than uh, half a meter. Huh. Okay, I'm going to click Enhanced Low Cut Filter. Okay, this is Enhanced Low Cut Filter. And I think I'll put Clip Guard on. Okay, I have Clip Guard on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's close this. Close this. And uh, <coughs> testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to stop a recorder. I keep forgetting that uh, I shouldn't be adjusting audio <laughs> with my hearing loss that I have. Uh, you know, that. I just, uh, I'm not good at audio at all, so far as the hearing is concerned. I watched a YouTube guy, or a YouTuber video, forget his name, <clears throat> very professional. He does uh, music, I, th I think he has over a thousand, I forget, anyway. I wonder if it shows up if, let's see, YouTube. Um, I wonder if it'll show up now because I watched a couple of his videos. Uh, go to premium. Uh, uh. Ah, here it is, yeah. He did a thing on uh, Mozart. And, you know, Mozart was... At some point he had... He was deaf, you know. Of course, it didn't happen immediately, but he does a really good uh, video on that. I wonder if I could... Uh, 
Anyway, this guy, I'll put a link below. Okay, that's what I'll do. Uh, <clears throat> this guy's subject is the greatest videos ever. No, I guess not on YouTube, but anyway, let's see here. Let me go to it. Let me go to his site. Hi, everyone. I'm Rick Beato, producer, composer, audio engineer, and music theorist. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Everything Music. This is the place where I will be posting videos on a variety of subjects. Okay, I will. Oh, I can just, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll just copy that. You know, what I need to do is, um, uh, Well, if I just save it, if I don't delete it, we'll be okay, right? Uh, anyway, uh, excellent. I'm not much in because of my hearing loss and everything also. I, I mean, I'm not into, uh, never been in, that's probably one of the reasons I've never been into music because I'm not uh, hearing it as well as, you know, hearing everything that, uh, but I just, so I saw a couple of his videos, did a really excellent job. Um, so if, if you noticed anything on the things that I clicked on, the uh, clipping and that kind of stuff anyway, that you think might help the, my audio, then okay, but I couldn't tell any differences. Um, what I can tell the difference is, of course, on this lighting. I've got to remember, I have two lamps, but I have them, they don't have shades on them. And I have them strategically placed behind my monitor. And so they're not, I'm not getting it, the light is getting, and it's enough light with the uh, Logitech camera that, um, You know that lamp in the back I turned off so that's what I got to remember to do I had some, something happen a while back you know I've got some light bulbs that are supposed to work I even bought some new ones you know that are supposed to work with uh, my network they worked before uh, no not the new ones but the the old ones worked before I could just say you know uh, echo you know turn on lights are off or dim and all this type of stuff and I can't do that now and I tried I think what it is if I remember I don't remember correctly or not I think these lights need a five gigabyte Wi-Fi connection and I think that let's see Okay, it's not, is it going to show? Okay, let me see if I can show here. Properties, okay. No, it doesn't show. Okay. Um, I don't want to, well, I'm not, uh, that's right, I'm not streaming this, am I? Uh, let's see. What if I click on this, if at all? That's what we're going to, let's click on this one first. Okay, no, it doesn't show the information about it. I don't want to disconnect myself right now. I think that what the problem is, is I think both of my networks are 2.4. And I think these other devices, these bulbs and things need a 5 gigabyte uh, connection, I think that's the problem. How in the world would I end up with two, 2.4 instead of one 2.4 and one 2 or one 5? Because that's the way I was doing it in the past. I don't know what's going on. Um, what I would like to do, let's see if we can do this. 
the uh, picture, the image that you're getting, it's a little too wide. So let's go, what's this, by the way? Oh, I'm having trouble with, let me show you that. Settings and go here and go to Windows Update. Okay, I do not know when they started this thing of trying, to, but it's been a month, I think, maybe longer, uh, trying to get me to, uh, or, you know, uh, to get Windows 10 version 20H2 installed. I think it's been at least a month, maybe two months, maybe longer. And what happens is I restart, and uh, it goes through the whole thing. I'm installing updates, and you know, reboot, installing updates, and then it, you know, then it boots up and goes to, hey, you know, this is Windows, and then the thing that pops up and says, oh, uh, I forget what it says exactly. The, uh, there's a problem. We, we can't install your new updates uh, that are incompatible with your uh, system or whatever. Uh, so we're setting it back to what it, you know, what it was. And then it goes and runs through this thing of resetting it, resetting it, and then it goes, you know, back. So uh, I'm just tired of, because it takes a little bit. I'm just tired of sitting here and having it go through and do all that and now I've got this thing down in the thing that you know that says let's see your device is at risk of being out of date it will need to restart to install updates time to schedule an update well let me go see if I can schedule I turned it off for seven days I keep doing that let me go to settings again here uh, what if I click on this? No, it just takes me back where I was heading anyway. Uh, oh, let's click on schedule. Okay, pick a day. Turn it on. Schedule a day. Well, all it can do is the same as it could offer me is like seven days delay okay now see if they're happy uh, I don't think they're happy yet what was I going to uh, I was going to do something I was going to oh change the See if I can do that. Go to Google. Since I'm using the camera, it may not let me do it, but let's see if it will. Um, so let's go here. Oh, okay, well, I need to see my image. Maybe if I pull up this. I can see it over here in the corner here. Well, I guess it's going to show it to me, isn't it? Let's see. Um, let's go to streaming. Well, I don't need to. Let's see. Let's just do custom. Let's see. Advanced. Uh, default. Camera control. Zoom might do it. No, that, oh, we can do it here with Zoom, can't we? Okay, let's, uh, okay, it's not showing the picture, though, is it? Let's do custom, streaming, video call, no. Oh, okay. Oh, it shows up over here. Okay, I can see it over there. Uh, so let's do a 90. That's too much. Let's do 78. That's just right. Okay. wonder if it's going to stay at that setting. Yes, we made it, and I think we're still recording. Um, 
Okay. What else do I need to do? I think that's it. Let's see, how many minutes has it been? Okay. Twelve minutes, that's long enough. Um, let's go see what is going on on Pluto TV and their channels. I like this antique roadshow. This is a UK antique roadshow. How is it made? What's it worth? The question is, which is the most interesting answer? Luckily, I'm from the insane asylum. Well, that sounds interesting. That sounds doesn't that sound great to watch? Shaft. That's just black cinema. Uh, Q. The real Middle Earth. The People versus George Lucas, Valley Girl, Paradox View, Elephant Man. I watched that, but I I watch it again. Uh, I like I like nice happy endings. Of course, maybe that was a happy ending. He got a good night's sleep or something. I don't know. Uh, Frank, what's Frank? Uh... Okay, I think we're out of. I think we're actually out of the movie section here. So let's uh, let us exit. Let's go see what's on Amazon. I haven't got my walnuts yet. They're coming, though. Um, let's see, Prime Video. And we pay for HBO, by the way. But let me show you this. Okay, this is... Amazon, their Prime Video. I really didn't care. I watched it. I watched all how many ever seasons there were of John Adams. I really didn't care for it. Uh, Shanghai Noon. Watched that a long time ago. That was uh, that was good. And Eddie Murphy Coming to America was good when it first came out, or a long time ago. But in here, I think in March. They're coming out with uh, return or something to kind of be uh, uh, coming to America version two or something. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what else we have. Here's the channel guide. Since we get HBO. We get access to the HBO channels just like we were subscribed to the. Uh... Okay, so we, since we're not subscribed to you know uh, a cable service, of course we're getting we're you know getting an internet service. Let's see. I actually I'm not into anything violent at all. But I did like Kill Bill, you know, volume one and two. Uh, let's see. I remember a long time ago watching The Big Fat Greek Wedding. I enjoyed that. And Toys, is that the one with, um, or was it Toy? Let's see. Frequency, I, that was okay. Since I'm an amateur radio operator, a ham, yeah, that was, uh, that was an okay movie, but, you know, it's, if you don't know, a, uh, that 
this this guy, this girl, this woman, is messing with her father's ham radio transmitter. I don't know if she's cleaning out. I can't remember now the thing. And uh, and so she turns it on, and then she hears a call, and comes to find out it's uh, from her father, who was a who was a ham radio operator. But he died, and she is talking to him. And at the beginning, she, you know, of course, she's, they don't know. And then, of course, they, but, uh, so it was kind of interesting. You know, I don't know, if, maybe if you're not a, but, uh, of course, Die Hard, they were good. Those, those, um, uh, Uh, I'm not into the Walking Dead stuff at all. Uh, okay, I think that's... Well, maybe there's some more stuff down here. Uh, classics. <coughs> Film Rise Classics. Uh, here's Film Rise Free Movies. Let's see. Family, My Brother the Pig, Bob the Butler, Ernest Goes to School. Okay. Uh, let me go back here just to... Because I think I'm going to... I think it's going to pop up here where I can show you. Okay, now it's not going to do it for me. <laughs> that probably will here. So here's the stuff, you know, on HBO that we can watch. Independence Day was good. Uh, the Eagle's actually good. Game of Thrones, I stopped watching. I It, it was good, but a little too much, it got to be too much violence. I I stopped before the Red Dinner or Red Wedding or whatever that was. Uh, but then I saw some clips of it. Uh, let's see. Places in the Heart, excellent. I especially love the well, it was just a great movie, Places in the Heart, and the ending thing in the church. Fantastic. Quick and the Dead was good. Uh, I remember watching, and it was okay, Peggy Sue got married or something, rather. I remember watching that. Broken Arrow was interesting. It was good, I guess. Uh, Rudy. Okay, this is where it's getting into. Okay, this is it. Okay, I'm paying. I am paying uh, Amazon, you know, for Prime. And I pay through them for, you know, HBO or whatever. And so, and I start like we were doing just now. Okay, I'm watching movies and and uh, looking for something, and then, then I'll think, oh, okay, well, maybe I'd like to watch Rudy again. And then, wait a minute, okay, it's pay. You know, 1917, okay, it's pay. And then I was thinking, well, I've watched Pride and Prejudice X number of times. Maybe if there's nothing else, I'll, I'll watch it, and it's pay, you know, see the dollar sign up here? Why in the hell? Do I have to have this stuff here? I mean, put a thing up here, uh, like they have channels, you know, for HBO or whatever. Put a thing up here if, well, don't put a thing up here. I'm paying, and I want to see, uh, they have all this stuff to wade, they have this stuff to wade through. And then, of course, they have the things with ads. Uh, 
So. Now we're back into the stuff that I can watch for, you know, well, I'm not, not for free because I'm paying. Uh, Heart of Nights was, was good too. Uh, anyway, I guess you've, uh, And of course, <laughs> I like Merrick on 34th Street just for the scene with the girl that's talking to Santa Claus. Whether it's the old one or the new, you know, the new one. That's the, uh, I just watch it for that. It's kind of funny, you know, the, uh, the quiet man when you watch that, times have changed so much. Uh, you know, John Wayne and his way he treats Maureen O'Hara uh, in the movie. Uh, he grabs her against her will and puts a kiss on her. He jerks her. He drags her across the landscape of Ireland dragging her. I think he kicks her at all time. Times have changed. And but it was a good movie. Uh, not because of the but I mean anyway, she's even though it's that's considered what uh, inappropriate now and probably be boycotted or something like that. But actually she's the one that's at, in control, I mean in a lot of ways and uh uh, stuff so good movie but I'm sure there's a rating someplace you know if I could find a lib, women's uh, lib site or something they, they rated movies I guess that'd be you know on their list of terrible movies uh, The Legend of Baggerly uh, I can't watch it though because it's <laughs> Vance or whatever I've watched it several times, and I like it. It was a good movie. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me go back here someplace. Nope. I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. There we go. My God, who's that old man there on the screen? This is uh, Jim Howard in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor. Uh, when you're thinking of looking around for something on Amazon to purchase or just to look at, please use one of the links below. Uh, that will take you there. Once you're there, if you go and, as long as you don't log out, as long as you go someplace, uh, I will get a small commission. I've been doing YouTube videos since 2005, and uh, I get from, of course, I spend more than, you know, than I, uh, I get from YouTube or from Google I get about uh, $30 a month, uh, but, and I started using Amazon uh, affiliate program back in 2009, and it's been, you can see, most months nothing, uh, very little, you can stop this scrolling if you want to, you know, to stop and see. But now, for the last uh, four months, I think it is, or is it five? Anyway, it's uh, this at the end of this month when this video is being made. 
I will get from Amazon $84.95. Uh, the month before this, I, I got $51.39. The month before that, I got $66.12. And the month before that, I got $110.15. Uh, it has finally started to, because you people have been doing that, using the link, going to Amazon, and then you purchase something, and I get a commission. Please keep doing that. If you're not doing it, please, uh, please do it. Uh, it helps me to, you know, buy other things to try out and to add items, you know, microphones, webcam, stream deck, uh, stuff like that so please uh, please use the link by the way to make it easy for you and these are secure links by the way you can just type in jimhoward.me and that will take you now you don't have to use any of the links below I need to update those by the way but you're at Amazon and now if you were to purchase something I'd make a commission so please uh, please do that if you can thank you very much